Hello everyone, today is going to be a video of basically the layout of my desk fans in my room. Not all of my fans, apart from the pedestals upstairs and the ones in my nans and the Tesco which is due to go into my dad's workplace. Anyway, we've got the fans basically so yeah starting off with a 1980s or really late 1980s dirt flow 12 inch oscillating desk fan The oscillator pin is a bit stiff, so that's a bit weird, but yeah, it's a good fan. So I'll show you this one. Blaze a bit crumbling. I have to do a clean out of this fan, but it's a bit dusty still. The motor, I've had a look in there, it does not need oil and it's, there's not one sprinkle of dust in there. So it is still a bit, a bit dirty, but I'm trying my best to get everything off. So yeah, um, it's a very nice fan, but these clips, they are coming off, as you can see. Yeah, they're a bit, they're a bit coming off. But yeah, bro, it's a bit of exposure on here. That's why you can see it's going a bit thin, a bit brittle. It's a bit scratchy. So yeah, moving on to another traveling just fan, which I picked up a marketplace for. A fiver. This is basically identical to the 1990s Blue Eyes, but the CD branded. Yes, put that because the grill is loose. So yeah, the buttons are satisfying, as I imagine it was. They're not that satisfying on the Blue Eyes because they're dying, and I'll show you that when I. I should come around to the blue ice fans if this video don't stop. It's dusty because I don't clean, I haven't cleaned this for a while. I have restored the motor and date code, which is from 1997. So I believe this is the very, very new 1990s. CD fan. Looking at looking at it off camera is quite some dust. But yeah, the reason why it's got tape on is because the neutral was shown, and I don't think that's safe at all. Next up here is a hospital find. Actually, I was talking about this when I was filming that CD. This fan is a blue ice traveling oscillating dust fan. Now it would make sense if I showed the 9 inch first because that's the first blue eyes I got but yeah there's some reason there's a bit of paint on the blades but yeah this is a hospital find so I got this fan from my hospital it was like at the back of the desk so it was on the hospital's desk in the back so that's how I managed to get a hold of it I didn't steal it I got it because the they didn't donate it to me or chuck it to me. They actually, they gave it to me. So, yeah, they gave this fan to me. The buttons are not satisfying at all. But if you can see, there's a little crack here because I <clears throat> do that all the time. I mess around with the buttons a lot. I have lubricated them and it's made them much better than before. This one's wouldn't go down and this button kept getting stuck and 
It would have damaged the fan if I kept it. Next up is two, I'm, I'm going to do the fans together because I can't be bothered. There's two challenge fans. Buttons on this one, buttons on that. Now this, I got given, like the blue eyes. So basically my brother goes to football camp and there's like a cafe and bar in here. And there's basically a status fan and a challenge fan at the back. And I was, I actually... I asked for the fan and they said I could keep it. Um, yeah, they said I could keep it and I gave them my 2011 uncle's challenge challenge desk fan in exchange. Exchange. I don't know how to say it. Oscillator goes a bit long, but oh well. I forgot to mention the stair floor was a car boot find as well. So, yeah, this fan was a car boot find, like the stuff that was a car boot find desk fan. Oscillating desk fan. This has had a clean out as well. Like, that one also has had a clean out. These both challenge fans were absolutely horrific. If you want to see this one before, you can, because there's a video on it. But, yeah, it was horrific. Almost as dusty as a super cool and this is rusty as hell. Anyway, I've been talking about this for 6 minutes and 37 seconds, which is the blue ice desk fan. The reason why it's making a knot and bolt is because I always think they're pointless, but however, I regret my decision as now the grill is going to be these buttons feel like this one's going to spring out in a minute. These just... They feel loose. It might, might be the, the screws, one here, one here, might need tightening. But you can see it's pushed down because no one ever bothers to open up the base and push it back up. So, yeah. Now I'm going to point something out that's very specific. As you can see that tiny ice rink. There's like a tiny gap. Now that's because a, a few days ago I was fiddling with it. And I scraped the blue ice logo off. Logo off. Now I didn't completely scrape it off but I scraped this part of the ice rink off. So I'm going to put sellotape over it because the logo is starting to rub off if I get a screwdriver and scrape it that's gonna end nasty sun exposure is severe so I'll probably just leave it and not put any more bleach on it I don't know the original owners did put bleach on this fan but it's got delivered in the marketplace for 55 flipping pounds that's adding on to the postage as well so not good not good yeah, I don't know what fan I should do, but this is a CD 9 inch desk fan. Now, this fan actually came from Marketplace, I didn't get this delivered. I actually didn't get, yes, yeah, so I didn't get this fan delivered. EFC Core fan is falling apart, and I don't want to get rid of it at some point. So yeah, this fan is crumbling at the blue ice. It's got wire and everything though. Satisfying buttons, but this has suffered the sun exposure. Not only on the buttons, not only on the cab, bracket, but on the switch. It's like, man. Yes, don't ask me why it tilts that far. Could be something to do with oscillation mechanism. It's also got a cable tie because the grill's loose and it just comes off. So, yeah. This is a story behind. This fan came from a teacher in school. So, this, uh, she got it from a loft, as it was her 
old fan that she didn't want anymore and she wanted to give it to me. So she's going to get a broken fan from the loft again, so I'm happy. And I will call that when I want to, because I haven't even got it yet. The blades are very jagged and there's hairs on the shaft and I couldn't clean them up because I can't get the stupid blades off. The switch at first was actually very, very stiff. Couldn't even do it. But now it's eased up. I didn't even put oil in it. Just... Perfect. You know, this oscillator might be missing the screw because like, there is no screw in it. The thing is, the spring, so the spring could be getting rusty when it wears apart the oscillator could fall apart which isn't good and the motor housing is falling apart due to all of that stellar exposure because the ring the badge and the switch forget that it's some exposure now the switch could be original colored i have no idea it's basically I have no idea, don't ask me. It could have been a faded, tiny, creamy colour, but now it's just faded way too far. So, yeah. You got this. Um, I'm not going to make this too quick. Because it's vintage, you know, it's got a nice badge. It's an EFC. Cool fan. EFC Travelers Jazz fan. Got this for 40 flipping, 45 flipping pounds on the flea market. Actually, I got it reduced. A thirty-five pound. That is a flipping bargain. I mean, for this, you know, it, uh, I think it's got some. There was a crack in the blade that at some point. I had to super glue it. There it is. But this is crumbling like crazy. This is squeaking as well. This peeling off and. This is, this is not good, it's all scratching. The reason why there's crumbs all over it is because it's been crumbling. Hey, look what I can do. Sad, because this fan has just been left in the sun. And because it's got those little weird dots because of crumbling issues. Looks like there's breadcrumbs all over the fan. Comes with a spinning grill. Now the clips, they're pretty good, but the grill was what I thought was dust, but it actually wasn't. Like this, all around is rust, not dust. And there's a bend here, and bend here. Well, you can see the blades have got that design. You know it's about to crumble, but. Just like the car on Breezy, your foil crumble. But it actually wouldn't. Yeah, the joint where the blade comes from is crumbling slightly. So, yeah. Anyway, I should have filmed Windmere, but oh well. This is my third challenge fan. This fan came from my builder. I do not know if he was using it, but it's very kind of him to give it to me. It actually wasn't that dirty, but saying that it is quite dirty, take that back because it's still dirty. I couldn't clean all the components of it because it was that filthy. So I take that back what I said earlier, um, about about a minute ago. Now, the video's been 14.03, so, you know, it'll be like a minute, um, um, a minute ago. So, yeah, yeah. I've got a copy voice for some reason. So, yeah. Excuse that. This fan's got a ring just like I can't be bothered to name all the fans of my rings. Oh, when we have been touching Carl Breezy. Sure I got a few others, but actually oh yeah, it's golden. Apart from that, no. Anyway, moving on to these two extra torches. I'm gonna do it like I did with the Come back to me. Two challenge nine inch dash fans, a section them out. The one in front was from the flea market. 
the one that the um the very back is so yeah it's a random guy found this for me so um a random man found this fan for me and they gave it to me so now it is mine so these were two quite weird stories behind it but yeah weird eh anyway this is a golden 12 inch i got from the flea market uh i did get a really good find actually it's the same brand as this fan that i'm filming right now which is a 12 inch golden it's a 9 inch golden fan in its original box never been used and i had to assemble it myself but to be honest i assemble my fans myself and i clean them and store them so yeah um sorry if my voice goes a bit weird probably because i'm tired but i'm not gonna go to bed until like 12 o'clock because i'm feeling happy not happy but a bit crazy dumb yeah these this fan i actually have two pedestal versions can't i'm using fridge master as the other two pedestal fans apart from the two pedestal fans that are branded this this is a desk fan. I'm sure you've looked at the five star doodle. A lot of fans come under this brand called Oriental American Gamer. A lot of things aren't original on this fan because it's missing the information sticker and it's missing a ring. So I two things don't come with fan but yeah this is probably uh, this is my birthday fan find my mum got it for me so yeah i say my mum got it for me excuse me sorry about that i've just eaten chicken so yeah so yeah yeah my mum found this for me Birthday fan find here. Now this fan I was talking about when I literally just saw that golden challenge. This is a golden nine inch desk fan. Also just realised this fan has MC mode housing. Called Fletton to the badge. This literally came in its original box and never been used. So that is so cool. As well, you know, everything when it's new, and yeah, oscillator feels a bit loose, so I'm going to do is tighten it. Now, these two were basically fines. This fan came from my teacher, like the Carton Breeze, he did. It sounds so weird when you turn it on, I don't get it. These need lubricant desperately. Uh, my tripod sort of broken, that's why I'm not recording. I'm trying to fix it. There's a bit of honey on the blade, so I don't know why that is. Oh, I'm feeling tired now. Yep. The oscillator, I'm gonna. This doesn't work. And lastly, this hospital find with the blue eyes in the cleaning cupboard where my dad works. Is it meant to actually find us? It is broke. So. I mean, I don't know what that is fiddling mocha, but yeah. Bye.